We are working actively on a meet and greet for Dr. Dionisio um, for September and more information to follow. Our next meeting is on September 8th. 9th, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Helen. John Carolyn. Uh, no committee report as uh, the whole evening was my committee, so. Okay, thank you. James? <laughs> uh, no committee report. Okay. Robert? Uh, nothing on negotiations committee, no further comments. Uh, John Kinney? Uh, we moved strategic planning to the 8th because of Tony being sick. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Mrs. King? So, facilities and safety management, which also used to include return to learning, but somehow does not any longer. Um, the meeting was canceled for two weeks ago. Um, it is rescheduled for Wednesday. Um, I'd also like to take this opportunity to, after, after all those public comments, to just quickly say that um, mine and my children's experience with anti-Semitism is not a story. It is not something that I just made up in my mind. It is something that I experienced growing up in Wyckoff, New Jersey. It is something that my children experienced walking these halls. It is not something to make light of. I take offense to that. That is a shameful thing to do to someone, to state how dare you use the Jew card. That is a horrible thing and that is the exact example that we are trying to combat. And I find it horrible to say that to someone. It's shameful. And no one should be saying that to anyone after they've shared in, in any type of racist, anti-Semitic, homophobic, or LGBTQ hate anything in this area. That is exactly what we are trying to teach our children not to do to simplify what others have gone through. That is horrendous. Thank you. Mrs. Sullivan. Yes, the policy committee meeting uh, did occur uh, a few weeks ago. And as the public can see on the website, if you look under first readings, you will see the proposed policy that the policy committee approved for the board's consideration on masking. It follows the executive order. However, we did add clarification in the hopes that we could give both the district and community members guidance on things like, and I heard some of the comments about temperature, what types of aerobic and anaerobic activities there are because there was some confusion. Um, so I invite you know the public to look at that and that the next board meeting uh, will vote on that policy. I also want to say that I still do not have, despite written and oral requests from the superintendent's office, the policy alerts that are coming out from Strauss Esme, and it's very difficult to do my job as policy chair to write policies when the need to have these policies is present, and I don't even have suggested language from Strauss Esme. I don't have a password. Um, the superintendent is ill. I have requested these policy drafts numerous times, and I repeat my request publicly uh, that I, please, I'm begging you. I have another policy committee meeting uh, this week, actually, coming up on Thursday morning, and I have nothing uh, regarding what Strauss Esme's proposed policies are. Not that we're going to adopt them, but we will tailor them to the district's needs, but it would be nice if I had a starting point um, to look at the drafts. I also would like to make a formal request uh, from the president for the Google Forms that are being sent on the uh, page for the curriculum comments. I don't have those comments, and I'm a little concerned that we could have an Open Public Meetings Act violation if I am not getting those comments and parents think that I'm getting them because I am not. Uh, the last email that was sent out to the entire district on orientation did not, again, link to the uh, advisory about what the exceptions are. And I'm quite concerned. Um, this was an email that was sent at 6.21 p.m. 
regarding Ramapo transfer student and freshman orientation. It simply says, as a reminder, masks are now required in schools and must be worn properly throughout orientation. But again, it doesn't inform the community about the true nature of the executive order, which does has, have exemptions. Now, whether you agree with the mask exemptions or not, you still have to inform your public accordingly. So I renew my request for not just a link be provided in there, but actually the exemptions be listed at this time. If the if district staff is going to continue to send out these emails, I beg um, administration and the president to please make sure that the public is fully informed about what they can and cannot do. You may have somebody that has a disabled child with it on, in their IEP that they don't have to wear a mask, and they don't know now, looking at this email, that they could possibly have an exemption. I'm only asking that the public be properly informed. Um, I also renew my request for copies of the settlement agreements, which Ms. Uh, LaForgia announced at the beginning of the year that the Policy, Legislative, and Litigation Committee would review those agreements prior to the time that they be put on the agenda, and I still do not have the agreements in advance. Once in a while, I'll write an email to Ms. LaForgia. She'll write an email to the Board Council to say, could you please provide them? And we've got good response when that happens, but if I don't remember to keep reminding, I, I shouldn't have to do that. It should really be what the protocol uh, was that we established at the beginning of the year. Um, also want to say thank you for um, our board members today. Um, just because we have a spirited meeting doesn't mean that we fight and bicker all the time. It's actually good to have a spirited meeting. It's good for students to see that your voices can be heard. There's a lot of United States Supreme Court's opinions about that. This is, this is where you should see active discussion. Then last year, if you remember, the complaints were that we come out and we made our decisions ahead of time. That's not good. So I actually do think it's a good thing for you to see spirited discussion. You should see where everyone stands. These are your elected officials. You should understand what everyone's saying, what their position is. It doesn't mean that we're divided or that we can't get anything done. We've got a lot done this year. We hired our superintendent this year. Look at that. That was our biggest task. And he's still here showing his dedication <laughs> at midnight, which I'm terribly embarrassed about. But thank you so much, Mr. Dionisio, for Dr. Dionisio, for hanging in there. I do hope our superintendent recovers quickly. Thank you to all the chairs of all the committees. and thank